Yes, sir. It is coming. I'm gonna break it down right here. What's going on, y'all? Yes, yes. You know. Hey! <laughs> Wait! Only people who sew will understand this. So I got a regular uh, starter. Uh, I don't know how to say it. The entry level starter machine is it? That's a console tool 6RB, right? When you're doing seats and door panels and stuff, they are very long. Just anything that's big or long, period. Uh, especially sewing on the door panel with the material on there, man. Like, it's very small. Very cramped, one wrong stitch, movement, something gets stuck, cause a little crookedness. Me, I'ma start over. And time is money. And uh, yeah, it was just time for me to buy a bigger sewing machine. All right, he following me, man. He said, what about? I'm sit down and he gonna turn left. So I'ma turn him around once I get it off. Got the big boy so insane. Yes, yeah, sir. It is coming. I'm gonna break it down right here. <laughs> Look like money. I'll get a uh, box cutter. Right. Unless you got one, you got so sure, he, he could turn around. He said it, but he did. So he out. Damn, I'm getting another call. Might be my motor. My motor coming here too. I ain't gotta go to no terminals no more. Amen. Time and money. Hold on. You know I got a thread hold, I got a bad one from Amazon. All right, so. 
Let me get this bag. Some bobbin cases. Should be a bobbin case in here. With some 69. Yep, 69. I gotta see what all feet compatible. Cause I use like some console feet. Bobby cases. We got some needles with these, some 22s, 24s. We gotta check the manual. See what it say. I don't know what size. No, I don't know what size it is. These screwdrivers for changing feet and making adjustments and stuff. Tweezers. I ain't never used no tweezers on the other ones. Uh, book. Let's side. We're going to put the oil in the oil can and set the oil on the router table. Last couple pieces on. Put it on the guard tree. There go the three inch thing. It's under the table. Can you grab a seal for me? Like, man, I don't see a three spin. It's a three spin. All right, so now, for y'all, so y'all know what I'm talking about. This, this is uh, kind of in the way, so we gotta find a way to hide it. I don't want to catch no material. Gotta focus for this one. Let's see. According to my calculations, the sum of the quantity of logic. Nah, Let's see. It's the holding the belt. I like the belt on. So. Let's
Yeah, my foot had to be way higher than this, so I'm going to adjust that. Okay, so in this tray here, hole here, you can see it's a little hook. The chain has to hook to that. Like that. And that's what uh makes the foot come up and down. All right, the chain just come through and I tied it to itself. I didn't see that part in the structure, so. Probably because it's a general overall for the two smaller machines and then the long one. The long one come with it, but the small one don't come with that chain piece. Making sure. Making sure. Yeah, knee lift. That's what it's called. But there's no knee part on it. You got the chain part. Just to use it on a smaller machine, you would do this. On a smaller machine, you would do that. You need to bring this up. So it's got the foot with. That's dope. That's dope. Starting the belt. Yeah. Okay, so it was in there. It's just not a knee lift for this machine. It's a foot lift. I remember the first time I used a foot lift too. It was at Kato's Custom Shop. Kato's Custom Shop and I was like, how do I get this thing in this foot? And some said, okay, you got two pedals. Only one will make it go. So I don't should make it lift up. And that's what it was, so. Now I'm about to do a little test piece on uh, the material they left in here. Three we got. <laughs> All right, man. So machine set up, ready to go. Ready to put it in action. So y'all stay tuned, man. Yeah. Definitely got some some interesting stuff coming in. Interesting stuff here. Interesting stuff that's coming out. So. Y'all just stay tuned.